Hmm. Looks like another bus, Joey. Yeah, maybe. Or maybe not. Wait, you hear that? I think so. Let's get closer. Hey, look. Looks like our evening might not be a total wash after all. Talk to you, Joey. Yeah, doll. Any thoughts on our sax playing ghost? No more than you, darling. He likes his music, that's for sure. I doubt we'll get anything useful from him. That's it for now. Yeah, we'll talk more later. That's some view. I can even see the New World Trade Center from here. Queensboro Bridge, it connects Manhattan to Queens. I don't think so. He's playing a saxophone, totally enraptured. I don't even think he knows we're here. Hey, mister. Nice tune. You write it yourself? I'm Lauren Blackwell. What's your name? What are you doing here? Kind of late to be out, don't you think? The dead don't keep normal hours, dear. I think I've forgotten what normal hours are. Hey, mister. Yoo-hoo. I'm talking to you. Hello? He's not hearing you, kid. Ugh. Forget it. Hey, Joey. Uh-huh? This is one of those don't-know-they're-dead spirits, huh? Yeah, another dead guy that's brain-dead. We have to convince him that he's dead. He won't move on otherwise. Thank you.
I don't think he even knows we're here. Yeah, I don't like... There's got to be some way to get his... That's it for now. Yeah, we'll talk more later. Hey, Mac, the name's Joey. Ah, uh, the talkative sort, are we? Well, we'll soon sort that out. Pay attention, you fat chump. I'm talking. That's your idea of intimidating? Quiet, will ya? So... Nice night, huh? That's a pretty nice instrument you got there. Mind if I have a look? Hey, do you feel... restless? Like you've got somewhere to go but don't know where? It means you're dead, Mac. Can you even hear me? Hey, you got a cigarette? I could sure use one. Hey, do you know where the Guggenheim Museum is? The wife and I have been trying to find it all day. The wife? Shh! I'll be back, pal. Don't you worry. Say cheese. He'd want that. He's playing a saxophone. Totally enraptured. I don't even think he knows we're here. No, it's mine. We've already looked through this paper. We don't need any more leads. I guess I could take this along. Come on, let's get out of here. Right behind you. Oh boy, we've got company. Can you see? Pardon? Can't you see? See what, lady? The whole of the world. Connections, patterns, pulsing with life everywhere. Oh, great. One of New York's finest crazies. Do something about this old bat, will ya? Look, I'm a bit busy right now. I don't have time for this. Fool! Liar! Can't you see? Um... Useless! Useless! Wow. I know. Only in New York. I don't think he'd want that. I don't think he'd want that. It's his saxophone. It's his saxophone. A pack of cigarettes should last. Queensboro. Hey, I'm talking, Buster. Hey, hey, hey. you let, let go. go. I'm Joey. Pleasure to meet you. I don't, I don't care, care who you are. Nobody, Nobody interrupts, interrupts my set. I need to ask you a few questions first. Not now, man. Can't you see I'm in the middle of something? Get off the stage! Stage? Ow! That's how we treat your kind at Johnny Ivory's. Johnny Ivory's? What are you talking about? Hello? Oh, we're dealing with a real sharp tack here.
That ghost mentioned Johnny Ivory's Blu-ray connection. That ghost mentioned Johnny Ivory's Blu-ray connection. Hello again. I said, I said let, let go, go of that. that. Who or what is Johnny Ivory's? What are you, what are you kidding, kidding me? me? You're crazier, crazier than you see. see. Get, Get out of here. here! Ow! Hello again. I said, I said let, let go, go of that. that. Just what are you doing here? What am what I doing? Am I doing? What, what do you, do you think, think I'm, I'm doing? doing? Get, Get away, away from, from me, me, man! I'm gonna talk to you, and you're gonna listen. Or so help me, I'll take this sex and shove it right up your... Give me that! Why are you haunting this place? Huh? What, what are you, are you talking, talking about, about man? man? You're crazy! Get, Get off, off before, before security, security gets you! Get, Get out, out of here! here. Ah! Let's chat a second. Yes? So what do you think of our guy? Him? I don't think he wants to be saved. Really? Look at him. He seems peaceful enough. I say we just leave him. You know we can't do that, sweetheart. Yeah, I know. I'm just cranky and tired. Is that right? It's hard to tell with you. Be quiet. Is Johnny Ivory a name? Never heard of a name like that. I don't know. There's always the phone book. All right, let's get on with it. Yeah. Nope, I can't leave the kid's side. I don't leave here until she does. I don't think so. Jack. Lauren, I know you're there. I'm your brother. For God's sake, talk to me. Johnny Ivory's Jazz and Cabaret. It's on Bleecker and 7th Avenue. You up for some jazz, Joey? You mean we finally get to listen to some real music? Call it my special treat. Come on, let's get out of here. Right behind you. This one looks interesting. Courtesy of Jambalaya Records. Hmm, might be worth checking out. Courtesy of Jambalaya Records. Hmm, might be worth checking out.
The only thing holding up that dress is fate. Pretty girl, though. I wonder who she is. The woman is blocking the piano player. I can't see his face. That's him. The jasmine ghost from the promenade. Looks like we're on the right track. Hmm. This one looks interesting. Hmm. This one looks interesting. This place is empty. Good. The less people, the better. This place is empty. Good. The less people, the better. Say cheese. It's my trusty Polaroid. Why would I want to record that? Uh, no. I'll talk to him when we're alone. I don't know much about pianos, but it seems nice enough. Hmm, this one looks interesting. It's our sax playing spirit in the flesh. Whoever that is, I can't see him. Especially with such a pleasant distraction getting in the way. Take a closer look. Don't mind if I do. This joint doesn't draw much of a weekday crowd. He's a swinger past his prime. Not bad on the piano, though. I just wish he'd keep his eyes on the keys. What am I supposed to do, blow in his ear? He's not really my type. What am I supposed to do, blow- He's not- Hey, mister. Yes? Got a minute? For a pretty thing like you, I got several. Huh. So what brings you here on such a sad night? I'm on a case. Is that right? Oh yes, very top secret. Sounds dangerous. Very. A guy could get into trouble hanging around a girl like you. And Lauren, what's your name? Pleasure is all mine, Lauren. You can call me C. C. You got it, sister. What's the band in that photograph behind you? That picture is old, sister. It's not that old. Old enough. Before my time is all. Do you have a copy of that photograph anywhere? Nope. Sorry. Is that C like the water? That's C like the cold. It's the first chord I played, and you never forget your first. Ain't that the truth? You know any other musicians? I do run in those circles, yeah. Any of them play here? Sometimes we get major gigs here. But me, I'm what you call the dependable type. These fingers can go all night. Long. Can they now? Oh, jeez, make him stop. It's okay for me to talk to you like this. I don't hear anybody else complaining. Dull night, huh? You could say that. But I think it just got a bit more interesting. Is that right? Well, these lips don't lie. I'm looking for info about a musician. Well, I'll try to help you out. Who is he? I don't know his name. I think he's a sax player. I know lots of sax players, sister. Big guy, kind of chubby, has a beard. Nope, doesn't ring a bell. See you around. Anytime, sister. Jambalaya catering, jambalaya publishing, jambalaya's used cars. I'll have to be more specific. Here we go. Jambalaya Records, 240 Essex Street. I'll jot that down.
Is that you? Sis? Jesus. Now why'd you go and do that? Just back off, okay? Alright, alright. This is me backing off. Good. Busy. I better go over there in person. Busy. I better go over there in person. Come on, let's get out of here. Right behind you. He looks pretty hard at work. Say cheese. Burning the midnight oil, eh? He's either really dedicated or has nothing worth going home to. Good evening. Good evening to you. I'm Dwayne. Lauren Blackwell. I was hoping you could help me. I'll do my best. What can I do for you? So what is this place? This? This is a music agency. We manage bands, do promotions, things like that, you know? Well, by we, I really mean me. You do this all by yourself? Yep. One man operation. That's me. What sort of music do you manage? Mostly jazz and reggae. Nobody famous. Most small timers have trouble getting their foot in the door. Getting gigs in small clubs. Helping with recording sessions. You know. The basic stuff that musicians don't want to deal with. You're open late. Really? Yeah, I suppose I am. I learned to work musician hours, you know. You play a gig at night and have a problem? You want someone to call? Your clients have lots of problems, do they? Don't get me started. I'm looking for a sax player. Well, I can definitely help you there. You looking for a stand-in or something more long-term? Oh, no, sorry. I'm not with a band. I'm looking for a specific sax player. Well, if he's a client of mine, I can help you. What's his name? That's the problem. I don't know. But he's in a photograph that your company took. Really? Can I see it? I don't have it. Then I don't know what to say. Hey, can you come with me to Johnny Ivory's? I'll show you that photograph I told you about. I wish I could, you know. But I have a ton of work to do. Maybe another time? Yeah, sure. Thanks for the help. I might be back later. No problem. This one looks interesting. I already... Hi again. Hi yourself, again. Thanks for the help. I might be back later. No problem. Do you know this band? Oh yeah, I remember those guys. The C Sharps. That was the band's name? Yeah, I used to manage them. You used to manage them, but not anymore? Nah, been about eight, ten years. Time flies, you know. Hi again. Hi yourself. Again. What can you tell me about the C-Sharks? Oh, they were strictly lounge jazz, you know. But I saw them doing more. 
they really gelled, you know? Gelled? In tune with each other. And that lady had a voice like velvet. What happened to them? Don't know. They disappeared. Got them a few gigs and cut a record and that was it. Guess they just moved on or just broke up. It happens, you know. Thanks for the help. I might be back later. No problem. The Promenade Ghost once played in a band called the Sea Sharks. Let's talk, shall we? What's the deal? He hits pretty hard for a dead guy. Yeah, a real slugger. He might change his tune if he knew he was dead. Hi, Jack? Nothing springs to mind. Any thoughts on our sax playing ghost? No more than you, darling. He likes his music, that's for sure. I doubt we'll get anything useful from him. That's it? Yeah, we'll talk more later. Hello again. I said, I said let, let go, go of that. that. Tell me about the C-sharps. What are you, what are crazy? crazy? Get, Get out of here. here. Get, Get out of here. here. Ow! Hey, C. Hello there. Do you know anything about the C-sharps? The C-sharps? Nah. Nah, I've never heard of them. See you around. Anytime, sister. By yourself, again. What was the sax player's name? Ah, uh, well, it was a long time ago. I'm not much on individual names. I just remember the band. I only deal with the leader, you know? So who is the leader? Uh, sorry. You don't remember that either? It was a while ago, you know. So you don't know what happened to the sea sharks? I don't know. They moved on or broke up. It happens. Thanks for the help. I might be back later. No problem. Hey, C. Hello there. Are you sure you don't know anything about the C-sharps? There's a picture of them right behind you. Lots of pictures appear on that wall. I just work here. I don't know its entire history. Now, you mind? I got a gig to finish. About that sax player. Yeah? He's in that photo behind you. Is he now? Yeah. Do you know him? That picture is old, sister. It's not that old. Old enough. Before my time is all. Don't know who that is. Sorry. About the C-sharps. I said I don't know them. Leave it be. See you around. Anytime, sister. How am I supposed to play it? Have to face facts. My piano playing days are long gone. This one looks interesting. The woman is blocking the piano player. I can't see his face.
There's no entry for that. There's no entry for that. I wish I could charge him rent. I want to talk to you, Joey. I'm all ears, sweetheart. Hi, Jack? Nothing springs to mind. Any thoughts on our sax playing ghost? No more than you, darling. He likes his music, that's for sure. I doubt we'll get anything useful from him. That's it for now. Yeah, we'll talk more later. I want to talk to you, Joey. I'm all ears, sweetheart. I really need to get a bigger place. You think so? I find this place quite cozy. So do I. That's the problem. That's it for now. Yeah, we'll talk more later. This one looks promising. Residents have reported strange music on the promenade late at night. Nobody knows where it comes from. I'm not ready for a nap. The Promenade Ghost once played in a band called the Sea Sharps. Come on, let's get out of here. Right behind you. It's his sheet music. He's barely looking at it. He must know the song by heart. I can't just take the sheet music. That would be rude. Just some sheet music. Nothing special. What do we have here? He's written something at the top of the sheet. Property of Cecil Sharp. Aw, how sweet. Maybe his mommy signed it for him. Hey, this is a classy joint, dollface. We ought to come here more often. Cecil Sharp to C Sharps. Cute, real cute. Hi again. Hi yourself. Again. Was Cecil Sharp in the band The C-Sharps? Cecil Sharp. C-Sharps. Yes! I knew I heard the name from somewhere. So do you remember him now? Oh, yeah, he was the band leader. A genius on the piano. So Cecil Sharp was in the band. Yeah, that was definitely him. 
Thanks for the help. I might be back later. No problem. Hey, C. Hello there. What can you tell me about your old band, the C-Sharps? C-Sharps? Can't help you there. Never heard of them. Now, I know that's a lie. I spoke to your old manager. He confirmed who you are. You spoke to Dwayne? Yes, I did. That... Fine! You got me. Yes, I used to run a band called the C-Sharps. It was a rotten time in my life, and I'd just as soon forget it. Why are you stirring up these old ashes, huh? I have my reasons. Yeah, sure you do. About that sax player. Yeah? He's in that photo behind you. So I know he's with the C-Sharps and that you know him. What is this? You from that damn magazine? Magazine? The New Yorker. You a reporter? No. So who is he? You just don't quit, do you? You want to know so badly? His name is Isaac Brown. Isaac Brown? Yes. You happy now? Ecstatic. Great. What can you tell me about Isaac Brown? Him? He's a bum, a drunk, a nobody, a lowlife. He's also dead. And how did he die? Someone strangled him to death with his bare hands. Isaac must have squealed like a pig. You don't seem very upset by this. No, but last time someone asked about Isaac, it was some reporter from The New Yorker. He came along, asked his questions, then bam, Isaac's dead. Really? Yeah. So forgive me if I don't take kindly to pushy questions. Who is the reporter? I don't know. Mitchell something? Slow talker. Drove me crazy. You think he killed Isaac? I just played the piano. I don't think anything. Especially not the past. Whoever did Isaac, the son of a bitch had it coming. So please, just get out of here. See you later. Yeah. Yep, there's a listing for the New Yorker. Their main office is in Midtown. Thank you for calling the New Yorker. How can I help you? Hello, yes. I'm trying to reach a reporter named Mitchell. Well, let's see now. Mitchell, Mitchell. We have a Joseph Mitchell on staff, is that him? I guess it's worth a try. Is he in? Yes, he is. Hold, please. He's not answering. Maybe I should go up there in person. Come on, let's get out of here. Right behind you. Yes? Can I help you? Are you Mr. Mitchell? I sure am. I'm Lauren Blackwell. Well, do come in, Miss Blackwell. I was hoping that you could help me. Well, I'll do what I can. What is this regarding? Are you a reporter or...? No, I'm just doing some research. Ah, uh, see. You're a student. More a student of life. Ah, uh, aren't we all? So what can I do for you, Miss Blackwell? So how long have you been working here? Do you always ask such personal questions? I'm just curious about the sort of work you do. I write about people, Miss Blackwell. What sort of people? Not the famous sort. Just ordinary people, like you or me. Ordinary people, like me. You find that amusing? Oh, not at all. So tell me about yourself, Mr. Mitchell. I beg your pardon? Tell me about yourself. 
Yes, I heard you. I hope you didn't come here simply to interview me. I'm afraid I'd make a poor interview subject. I'd like to talk about Isaac Brown. Ah, uh, Isaac. You knew Isaac? Sort of, yes. I'm looking into his death. Really? That was almost five years ago. Why the sudden interest? Let's just say that I have a personal interest in clearing it up. So tell me about yourself, Mr. Mitchell. I beg your pardon? Tell me about yourself. Yes, I, I hope you didn't. I'm afraid I'd make up. Anything else you can tell me about Isaac? Why do you want to write about him? I don't want to go too in-depth. Out of respect, you understand? Sure. I was drawn to him for the same reasons I'm drawn to anybody I write about. I felt he had a story that could reach people, enrich them, perhaps learn from. Really? Miss Blackwell, spend some time talking to the poor and the downtrodden. Walk down the Bowery and speak to the half-wits and the have-nots. In one hour, you'll learn more from them than you would from a lifetime of school. So what was Isaac's story? I know he played in a band called the C-Sharps. Then something obviously went wrong. What was it? Listen, have you tried asking Mr. Sharp? Yes. He's not talking. I don't blame him. He's probably feeling guilty. Guilty? Why? He has his reasons. Could you, uh... I don't know, tell me what those reasons are. I can't do that. Of course he can't. Mr. Mitchell, I need to know what happened. Listen, I don't like this. I don't feel comfortable talking about people without their consent. I won't say any more about Isaac or his sister. Sister? Sister? Uh, please, I'm not gonna say any more. Who was Isaac's sister? I told you, not another word. Who was Isaac's sister? I told... I'd like to read your piece about Isaac. Ah, uh, well, I'm afraid I can't help you there. I never published it. You didn't? No, it seemed a bit in bad taste. Since when do reporters care about bad taste? Since when do reporters care about bad taste? Ah, uh, you don't have a high opinion of journalists, do you? Well, you hear things. Oh, no. Don't worry about it. I'm well aware of the stereotype. I've written about deceased persons before when I felt it was in the public's interest. But Isaac, well, I felt the man deserved some peace. If you felt his story could reach people, enrich them, as you say, why didn't you publish the story? Listen, Miss Blackwell. Isaac didn't just die. He was murdered. Someone reached around his neck and strangled the life right out of him. That puts a bit of a damper on the story I wanted to tell. So nobody will hear the story? All my notes on him have been destroyed. Isaac's story might not have reached the people, but it reached me. Maybe that's enough. I think that's all for now. Alright, you have a good night now. Cecil? What? I need to speak to you about Isaac's sister. You? That's it! You've crossed the line, sister. It was fun for a while, but now it's time for you to leave. Ooh, now you've done it. What are you gonna do, throw me out? Oh, is that a challenge? Don't tempt me, lady. Leave. Fine, I'm going. You really have a way with the fellas, kid. Ah, uh, don't sweat it. His bark is worse than his bite. Oh, it's you. You up for talking like a civilized human being? I really need to know about Isaac's sister. It's very important. Yeah, well, we all have problems. And my problem is you. So leave. You want me to leave? I'll leave. Well, that certainly worked wonders. We'll have to change our tactics if we want to get him to talk. Oh, look. It's Miss Wonderful. You up for talking like a civilized human being? You want to forget the past, you say? Yeah. Then what's with the picture behind you? If you wanted to forget the past, why'd you keep the picture? I have my reasons. Leave it alone. 
just leave me alone. You want me to leave? I'll leave. Ever think of moonlighting in PR? You're so good at talking to people. Seriously, whatever you're doing, you can't handle it this way. You just don't give up, do you? Hello, Cecil. Look, I'm sorry. Oh, you're sorry. Sorry and enough, sister. Leave. Okay, this is me leaving you alone. Stop and think, sweetheart. Soon as Piano Boy sees you, he gets all bent out of shape. You won't get anywhere this way. Oh, look. It's Miss Wonderful. That's me. I'm like a bad penny. Look, obviously something's wrong. Why don't you try talking about it? What is this? Some kind of psychotherapy? You here to get me to open up about my feelings? I'm here for Isaac. He's not worth it. And neither are you. Just get out of here. You want me to leave? I'll leave. You're hopeless, you know that? A shame I can't talk to him. I know his type. You just don't give up, do you? Hello, Cecil. Look, Buster, I've had it up to here with this. I need information, it's stuck in your head, and I plan on getting it out. Less talk and more get the hell out. Fine, I'm going. Darling, dear, you obviously can't handle this on your own. Maybe I can be of use? Uh, no. I'll talk to him when we're alone. Nothing's changed since the last time. I know that expression. Only time a man gets a look like that is when he's hung up over a woman. Go easy on him, huh? I think he cares more about that gal than he lets on. How am I supposed to play it? I have to face facts. My piano playing days are long gone. Oh, look. It's Miss Wonderful. We need to talk. You loved her, didn't you? Of course I loved her. She was our heart and soul. I would have... Damn you, woman. Damn you. I just want to play this piano and forget she ever existed. Why don't you just leave me alone? So what happened, C? It's very important that you tell me. All right. All right. I don't know who you are or why you're so interested, but you're never going to leave me alone, are you? No, I won't. You were in a band together, right? Yeah, we had a band. Smart girl. Then she died. Then he died. End of story. How did you meet Isaac's sister? First of all, her name was Sarah. I was looking to start a band, and I saw them perform together. She could sing like... It was magic. Such energy. Such life. Such a waste. What happened to Sarah? She got sick. Pneumonia or something. Started coughing one day and wouldn't stop. She got better after a while, but something happened to her voice. Doctor said she would never sing again. After that, the spark just went out. She hung on for a few months, but she just lost the will to live. Anything else you can tell me about Sarah? I love that woman. Even when she lost her voice, I would have given up everything for her. Heck, I would have even let her brother live with us. I should have told her. What was Isaac really like? That fat bastard. He was good on the sax, but that was the end of his good points. He drank, he was violent, he was useless in every other way. But Sarah could calm him down. She was the only one. If it wasn't for Sarah, I never would have kept him around. What happened to Isaac after Sarah died? He went to pieces. What do you think? Oh, he couldn't cope. Drank way too much. Started fights during gigs. I tried to stick with him out of respect for Sarah, but... Let's face it, he was a big, dumb embarrassment. So you cut ties with Isaac? Completely. Told him he was a drunk and a lowlife and wasn't worth the peanuts I paid him. Which was, let's face it, totally true. What happened? He beat me senseless is what happened. Knocked me out with the sacks I bought for him. Then he became a bum. Spent the rest of his life living on the streets of Roosevelt Island. Till he got killed by some drifter. You don't know who killed Isaac? Yes, I killed him. Oh, come on. No, I did. I'm not the one who put my hands around his neck or choked him to death. 
but I killed him just the same. You shouldn't be so hard on yourself. I know that. My brain knows that. But my heart won't listen. Can you tell me anything else about Isaac? No, I've told you everything. About that reporter. I know nothing else about that man. Southern guy. Talked real slow. Asked a bunch of questions. Just leave it, okay? About Sarah. I told you everything. Please, just stop. Can you tell me anything else about Isaac? No, I've told you everything. See you later. Yeah. You know, all this talk reminds me of something. Sarah and Isaac would always play this song. Really? Yeah, a duet at the end of every show. She'd sing and he'd play the saxophone? No, she'd actually play the piano if you can believe it. She wasn't great, but she loved playing with Isaac. And Isaac loved that silly song. They never let me join them, but that was okay. It was kind of sweet, in a way. Oh well. Cecil? What? What was the duet that Isaac and Sarah used to play? Oh, that. It was just a short little thing. Isaac would just improv the whole thing. But Sarah's was always the same. Went something like... After Sarah died, Isaac would play gigs, but refused to leave the stage. He'd blow on his sax playing anything that came to mind. Feet planted like a statue. He'd just keep playing? He'd play forever if I didn't get four guys to drag him off. I think... I think he was waiting for Sarah to play with him. He was supposed to finish each show with her and... Well... In his heart, he refused to believe she was dead. See you later. Yeah. Why would I want to record that? Why would I want to record that? Why would I want... I don't know much... Cecil? What? Could you play that song again? Yeah, sure. Why not? I think I've recorded enough. Thank you.